adding customizations to your WordPress site can be a little overwhelming, especially for entry-level users, kind of like me. However, we do have a favorite plugin to assist in customizing your site. This plugin is called the Code Snippets plugin by Code Snippets Pro. It simplifies the process, but the PM Pro team is also here to help if you need assistance implementing custom code for your Paid Memberships Pro site. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add code to your site. For the demo, I'll be using a code recipe from our change membership level on expiration or cancellation code recipe post. First, we're going to navigate to our WordPress admin. I already have the code snippets installed and activated on my site with a couple code snippets running, so I didn't want to delete it because I didn't want to mess up my site. But if you don't have it yet, you'll go to plugins, add new, search for snippets, and it will be this first code snippets plugin by Code Snippets Pro. Once it's installed and activated, you can navigate to the snippets portion of your sidebar and you can add a new snippet. First, you wanna give it a title. That way, if it ever comes to a time where something breaks on your site or if you need to change what you're doing, change the level, change a specific customization that you might adjust on the different recipes, you know exactly what you're going to, you know exactly what you're turning on or off, and there's no confusion behind what the code might say. We don't really have to read the code, which is great. So this will be change membership level upon cancel or expire. Now, this first recipe is going to change the membership level on cancellation or expiration. So I'm going to copy this code recipe and we already have the PHP function there. So we don't have to worry about that. And we can actually erase all of this information here. This is just extra information that we include in our just that way, if you're getting it off of GitHub, you have a little more information on what this does. We'll go ahead and delete all of those. And then there is a slight customization that we need to do on this one snippet. This code recipe says if their level ID is nothing, so they have canceled, they have expired, they don't have a membership level anymore, we're going to change the membership level to a specific membership. The way you find these level IDs is you're going to go to membership settings and this first column here in the membership levels is the ID that you will need for your code snippet. Level one, two, and three for me are paid levels. So if someone has expired or canceled, I don't want them to keep paying. They probably don't want to keep paying. So I'm going to give them this free level, which is level ID 15. So I'll navigate back to my snippet. And I'm going to change this 1 to a 15. This says, if level 0, change to level 15, which is my free level. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And now I'm going to use another plugin that we like to use here at Pay Memberships Pro called User Switching. I'm going to go to my members list, and I'm going to find someone who's paying. So Alberto has a beginner level, so that's going to be a paid level. I'm going to hit edit user and I'm going to switch to Alberto. That way I can test to see if my code snippet is running properly. He has the beginner level. I'm going to cancel. Yes, cancel his membership, but we canceled immediately. I'm going to view my membership account. And because we canceled it, Alberto should have not had a membership level. But as we scroll down and see, the membership is now free. Alberto now holds level ID 15, which is our free level. So we know that our code snippet worked. If I can customize a site with a little bit of code, you can as well. We'll be starting Coding with Sam live stream soon. So like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be alerted when those go live.